I was there for uh, 12 years, in 2007 to 2019, before I came here. I started working there as a registered nurse from 2000 until 2019. Most of the time, sa Middle East ako nag-iikot-ikot, pero pinakamatagal ko is Qatar for like almost three years. Start ako nung 16 years old, oh, wow. singer na din oh, for 7.5 years, tapos ganun din sa Qatar, 7 years din, pero doon chef na, kumakanta sa gabi. I was a mechanical engineer for facilities management, construction, and uh, manufacturing. After uh, my engineering uh, stint, I became an ISO auditor for companies there. Trail, yeah. There, you're an OFW. During weekends, we have to, we use uh, our time, my time, uh, during weekends uh, for photography as a hobby. Uh -oh. 19 years ago, because I started working there as a registered nurse when I was 22, I think. The Middle East, because we don't have any because we have mga agencies doon na, or bookers, mm -hmm. na man managers, na sila na talaga nag ayos lahat for us. Oh, oh, walang, so, wala walang kami isipin. Wala kami isipin. Hindi kami nagbab. Magbabayad naman kami, pero for a minimal amount lang. Like, kakaltas yun sa sweldo namin for the first and second month. Pero after that, wala na kami. For the whole year, wala na kami babayaran. Tapos, libre rin ang pagkain namin. Nakapag-fake yeah. kami every day, every night. The salary in my position is almost the same here in Australia, only that there's no tax, almost the same. But the future, uh, you cannot uh, uh, be secured on the future. Yes. Anytime you get fired from your job or you, you lose your job, so you don't have any more health insurance. And like here, you have the Medicare. It's a good thing if you're a manager, but if you're a common employee, so it's really uh, very hard. So some of the people that I know there, they, they take a bank loan just for your kids to be sent to school. I, I don't remember, I don't know now, but that was before, yeah, during our time. In Kuwait, nag-start kami, basically, nung first year ko palang doon, like 30,000 pesos. Ganun, tas umakyat na hanggang 100,000 pesos. Mm -hmm. Equivalent na yun. Yeah. But here, ang kagandahan pala dito, akala ko kasi almost the same lang. Yun pala, Kung nandito na ako sa Australia, I only work six days, six days to eight days fortnightly kasi I have a child. Mas malaki pa yung sahog ko compared doon. So what, how much more if I go to neonatal? Mas malaki pa. I think twice pa. Yung pagpapadala ko sa Philippines, iba malaki yung... Apa, ano ko. Kaya, daw mas malaki yung sahod doon sa Dubai, pero pag nagpapadala ka ng pera, Mas malaki naman sa Kuwait, so I, yeah, the pay is good. If you are really planning to have uh, a good life for your family. And also, and uh, because it's for me, when I arrive here in, uh, in Australia, I'm already done. My professional career, I, uh, I don't want to pursue it anymore. I just want to do my passion in photography. Only uh, Australia will will give uh, will give you everything. Uh, I have to understand them and respect uh, the culture. It's, uh, the same thing that we did. We Filipinos we are very uh, uh, bold on mm -hmm. uh, every countries that we go. We can easily adapt to any culture. But I think it's it's not so hard about going to a new place. Uh, Melbourne is uh, maybe I can say it's very united. Very uh, Filipinos here are very uh, united. At least consider. Uh, uh, applying here in Australia with the DHA website, Department of Home Affairs. So they'll be able to have an idea of how to come here, what will be the benefits, and I can tell them that it's really worth it. As a nurse, first of all, kailangan nila ng, they have to have experience, three to five years of experience. And, they, and second of all, yung they have to collect all the requirements. Kasi ang hirap kumuha ng requirements in the Middle East. So you have to have someone there to help you. Yun, isa pa yun. Then, um, yung police clearance. So ang dami ko pang ginawang, ano. Pero you have to know all those things. Yun yung, yung, yung 
uh, biggest challenge for you to do kasi um, without those masasayang yung experience mo and of course knowing someone like now your your uh, agency to guide you kasi without the guidance kung kani-kanino ka na lang makukuha na advice masasayang yung time mo financially ma drain ka kaya you have to know also uh, those you know those things tips niyo ano ano dapat ako, ako is ano lang basic lang be ready fully decided ka kailangan mentally, ready ka yes. mentally physically emotionally emotionally oh yes and financially amen <laughs> financial yan talaga yung fi- financially dapat capable ka stable ka bago pumunta dito kasi sobrang lakin mo magkagastos mo hindi siya biro how did you stay the challenges mm-hmm. na nalagpasan tapos ngayon parang i'm getting there yung, yung dream ko na makapag-stay ako tapos may tumutulong pa sa akin thank you very much <laughs> <laughs> di ba oo tapos yung yung alam mong may mapupuntahan yung sacrifices mo kasi may may mga tao behind you na tumutulong May, yes, mm-hmm. basically ganun din sa akin. And nakikita ko yung um yung, um lev, yung leveling ko ng yung paano pag-cope dun sa mga challenges na yun at yung mga achievements ko na, na kahit ganun lang ka-short, parang all of those challenges na na-experience ko, everything is worth it. And also yung future, nakikita ko yung future mas nagiging clap. If you want a thorough discussion on your visa options in Australia, book in a consultation with one of our registered migration agents at www.bridgeoffs.com.au.